right, in this final video, I want to share a compelling story with you that I recently heard um, from my father-in-law, actually. He actually brought a DVD over to the house and, and uh, happened to hear this gentleman speak. And, and uh, the story is about a gentleman by the name of Nick Volchik. He is 24 years old, and uh, he was born with no arms and no legs. Um, and he recently wrote a book called Life Without Limbs. And it's, uh, I started looking into his story and what he's done, and I, I'm, I'm in shock, really. I mean, for to be put in that type of situation and to be able to have that great of attitude um, and be able to accomplish what he has accomplished at such a young age is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, so I want to, basically, one of the biggest things I got out of, of uh, his story is that we are all dealt certain cards. Um, and those cards could be... Um, you know, financial issues, those cards could be death in the family, those cards could be, um, you know, whatever it might be. Those cards might be marketing for motivated sellers and, and uh, being able not to get a deal or, or marketing for buyers and can't find buyers or being put in a city that, that just, uh, just maybe doesn't work for, I don't know. But the bottom line is we're all dealt with certain circumstances or obstacles that we have the choice to either overcome or not. Um, because, you know, in life there always are going to be obstacles. It just, just happens. You're going to get over one obstacle, and then guess what? There's going to be another one on the other side waiting for you. So we have the choice to be able to overcome those obstacles or not. And see, what his story is so great is because he um, was dealt the cards of no arms and no legs. I mean, think about it. I mean, how would you drive to work? How would you brush your teeth? How would you go to the bathroom? <laughs> you know, how would you eat breakfast? What would you do if you had no arms and no legs? Wouldn't that make an impact in your life? It would change your life forever. Now, I mean, I don't know. I mean, sometimes I go through this pity party in my life, and I go, "Oh, my life sucks with this, and I could be better. I could, I could do more. I should be doing this, and I should be doing that." You know, everybody goes through these pity parties. But then I see a story like this, and I'm going, "You know what, man? I am lucky." I am appreciative, I am, I am full with gratitude uh, that I am, you know, as lucky as I've been, you know, and you should be the exact same way, that, that we're given arms and legs and eyes and ears and, you know, the ability to make decisions. So I want you to listen to his story real quick um, um, on what he has done and what he has accomplished and, and uh, I, I think it's uh, very inspirational. So why don't we go that way? Life is such that sometimes you fall down and you cannot get up. Let me just explain to you. Let's say that there's the Bible and I want to go to the Bible. Now, if I want to touch the Bible, the Bible's not going to come to me. I've got to go to it. Okay? How do I go to it? It's not like I'm going to start levitating and going hum, right? And it's like, right? That's not going to happen. But you take one step at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time. But there are circumstances that push you, that cause you to fall and stumble. Now to illustrate my point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump off the table, do a back twist and land on the floor. Okay, is that cool? I'll try not to break my arm. Alright, here we go. Ready? One. Are you ready? No? Just let me know when you're ready. Alright, ready? One, two. I'm joking, man. <laughs> if I did that, I'd seriously sprain my ankle. Alright. But let's say along the way you might fall down like this. Ready? Hello! So what do you do when you fall down? You get back up. Okay. See, it should be impossible for me to get back up. If you're down, know that God is ready for your prayer. And if it doesn't change your circumstance, know that He's going to pull you through. He has a reason, a plan, a good plan. And He will give you strength to get back up like this. In 1983, Nick's parents were very excited about the most joyous moment of their life, the birth of their son. 
But they were left speechless when he was born with no arms and no legs. and things are going to hit us. What, 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 what makes us fall down? It's typically an obstacle or something that gets in the way that just stops us and we don't know what to do. Well, our life, something's going to happen in our life and it's going to stop us and we're going to go, oh man, what do I do? And then another event's going to happen or something else is going to happen. Another event's going to happen and we're just going to feel, oh, it's beaten down. Well, a very successful person once told me, he said, listen, he said, what if I could show you a way that you could eliminate all the obstacles? What if I could show you a way that you could eliminate any future problems? What if I could show you a way that you could live worry-free? What if I could show you a way that you could have, you wouldn't have to worry about any of that stuff? And I was like, Phew. I was on the edge of my chair. I was like, if you could show, that's it. If you could show me that, oh, man, that, that's, that's it. That's, that's the pill of success right there. How could, how could it that'd be incredible? And he told me, he said, listen, the only way you're ever going to achieve that is if you're six feet under. And boy, that made, I was like, whoa, that made an impact. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. But he's right. We're always gonna have problems. We're always gonna have things that come up that's gonna try to stop us from accomplishing our goals. But if you have a vision in your mind, freedom, the things that you want to achieve, that you want to do, and you take little tiny steps every single day to accomplish them, you will achieve your goal. And you will be successful. I guarantee it. So in the next module, until the next module, I wish you ultimate success in your real estate investing career. Take care and God bless.